Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with CCXRC and I finally got my roof rack for the D90. I ordered it on eBay from China. It only took about two weeks to get here, which is pretty impressive considering. Uh, it's about half the cost of the one from RC Four Wheel Drive, which I really wanted but couldn't afford at this point. Uh, so it's about half the price, maybe a little even less than that, but the build quality is probably about half as good as well. So. Uh, it'll give me the look that I want. It's got the ladders on the back. It wraps all the way here to the front. The, the fit isn't super great, so uh, I wanted to just mark the holes with a marker on here. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, kind of drill them one screw at a time and kind of fit it exactly uh, where I want it and kind of bend some of the uh, pieces into the place that I want them. But this is the look I want. I know it's going to make it top heavy, guys. Um, but the whole point of this was to get that safari looking vehicle and that's what I really want from it and uh, so I won't be able to do as many climbs or crawls uh, on steep embankments but I'm okay with that I've got the axial SCX 10 that can that can tackle that and this is going to be kind of a little bit of a show truck but just fun on the trails hit some mud keep it low to the ground and uh, you know avoid some of the steep leans with the the weight wanting to make this tip off so Right after the break, we'll get to mounting that on here. I'll show you the, the process I'm going to use for it. Again, uh, ideally, I'd just be able to mark the holes with a marker, but that's not what I'm going to do in this particular scenario because the fit isn't exactly how I'd like it to be. Uh, just a quick thing, just letting you know I've been active on Periscope, doing live RC trail, choose-your-own-adventure kind of thing, uh, where you can get on live, ask me questions, tell me what to do, go through the mud, try and tackle that hill, um, go left, show us some new stuff. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, so uh, join me on Periscope, CCXRC, just like here on YouTube, and we'll be back to put this on right after the break. Alrighty guys, so here we go. I've got a drill bit just a little bit smaller than the actual screws themselves that I'll be putting in, um, but again, the fit on this isn't perfect, so what I'm going to have to do is kind of get it into position where I'm going to want it here. And then I'm just going to try and start moving it to try and get the level that I want. So one of the things that I just need to make sure is that these will thread in, that I'm making the hole big enough to get the screw in, uh, but that it will be able to still thread itself in there. Uh, well with that particular size. So I might have to step it up one size here. So we'll see in just a minute. Oh, that's perfect. So that's a good size right there. Be sure I don't overdo it and strip out the hole. Let's see, the fit isn't perfect. So I'm gonna line this up to match and then we'll drill in the and do the next one. Oh, look at that. The uh, the drill, I just messed that up. See the body? I'm gonna have to touch this up already. Only had one real good run on it and I'm gonna be doing some touch-up paint. Luckily I've got those paint pins. Should make it really easy. I'm actually just using these uh, black sawback screws from the screw kit that I got, which makes it a, uh, a Phillips head. Now these do not come with screws. I'm trying to do this on the cheap. And so I'll just push this right down. It's got a lip that'll sit right on this groove here. It'll give me a little bit of room to adjust it. Switch to the other side. Make sure we get that in there matching. Doesn't really line up with the back door, which is kind of annoying. We'll make it work. Alright guys, I've just got to say, I love the look of this thing. So happy it finally came in. Easy to install, just six screws, tapped them. I'm going to have a little bit of body work touch up to do here. Uh, I already have some issues anyway because when I went through the mud the other day uh, on the Periscope Live trailing video I did, it stained the, the paint job and I can't get it off. I don't know what was in that water, but it's got this like yellow line here along the side. But I love it. I love these ladders on here cool look looks like a safari vehicle now it's what I wanted it's gonna be a little bit more top heavy 
uh, which will you know change what I can do with it. But I'm okay with that because this is really what I wanted it to be. Uh, the extra weight is actually probably going to help these shocks a little bit. Quick thing though, guys, if anybody's got any of these G-Made Sawback wheel sets and they don't like them or they, they swapped them out and uh, are looking to get rid of them, uh, sell them, whatever, contact me. Let me know because I'd love to get one to put on the back here, but also another for the front, maybe two on the top. I could see putting just a bunch of wheels all over this thing. I've got one more thing, guys, that I want to show you. Uh, the next video, it's a sneak peek. I've got the battery mount uh, from Harley Designs. I've been wanting to get this. I've been waiting to move my battery on my SCX-10 from the back to the front. By getting one of these, uh, they just got them in stock again, and my friends all let me know. And so I ordered one up right away. 20 bucks shipped. Not a bad deal. Uh, pretty inexpensive solution for what it's going to offer me, which is a lower battery mount in the front, because right now, if this is my chassis, the motor's here, it sits up here, and the battery leads come up on my uh, my lipos, and that makes the, the lid really hard to get onto the, the, the post mounts. And so this is going to lower not only the weight, but it's going to also offer me these two platforms here that go on kind of the, the rock guards that come out of the side here. And I can put my, uh, my winch controller on here, which right now I just have zip tied to the side frame. So that's going to be great. Uh, Next video, I'll be putting this in, giving a little bit of my thoughts on it. Uh, but moving the battery to the front in the first place when I was out today running it, phenomenal. Way better, noticeable difference, and I uh, wish I'd have done it sooner. All right, so anyway, guys, until the next video, we'll see you. Have fun RCing.